and I'm working with BSS. <laughs> because, because it is it is everything I have said at the end of the day, the lawyers will come and start crying about our leader. So they say that, you know, I am working with DSS. That that is why I got the information that Mazin Namdekano is not sleeping with pillow. That is why I got the information that Mazin Namdekano was not allowed to change clothes. I want you people to keep record. I was the first person to complain about that our leader is wearing only one cloth. <laughs> And then all the Iran, they started making video. Oh, he is part of EDSS. He is working with the Nigerian government. How did he know? I take word from the heart of Mazen Namdikan. Why I'm making these references is that this evening, you know, <laughs> I have waited for this uh, Nzama security outfit to come out. I have waited. <laughs> I have waited for it. And that is why a few days ago, I made a comment. I said, if you are being recruited to come and sabotage and kill ESN, you will go down. <laughs> you will go down. So I was waiting for them to come out with the Zama security outfit. <laughs> you know, they will be thinking that, oh, it is hidden. Oh, it is hidden. I asked them, if you are being recruited to come and sabotage Biafra, you are going to go down. Just a few days ago. So as I waited for them, they didn't post the videos of 20, 50 person of security, of Nzama security. These are the same people who you saw parading in the street of Aba. How many of you remember? How many of you remember the people that were constituting nuisance in the street of Aba? These are not ESN. They can never be ESN. These are even, they are not even the dead men's squad. Dead men's squad don't have men. So these are the people you saw in the street of Aba a few months ago constituting nuisance. How many of you remember the people you saw in the street of Aba? <laughs> How many of you? The people like Sheku, Sheku uh, of, uh, is it Sheku? Shekal, Shekal of Borodo State. The people that cover their, their face in Aba. These are the people. Okay? Now, this is not why I'm here. I'm here for a very serious business. <laughs> but I want their friends to understand that today, God has exposed them. Do you know why they posted the video? Some of you don't know why they posted it. Let me tell you the reason. You know, since the beginning of this agitation, since I joined the Afra movement, I don't post videos. I don't post pictures of anything from Biafra. I don't. I don't post those nonsense. I don't post ESN video. Whether parade and all that, I don't post it. I don't post the job of ESN. <laughs> I don't post it. You know, but those who are not in control, those who are, you know, uh, uh, inferiority complex are disturbing, they are the one always trying to prove something to you by posting videos and the picture of ESN. They will go and tell people to gather one place and they are going to carry gun and they will demonstrate like this and they give them video and they will post it. They will tell you ESN. They are not in charge. I want you to understand that even this time around, for you to know that they are so bitter about Mazin and Bikano's Eastern Security Network. They even change their cloth. Very cheap. And for you to know how the Nzama security outfit is in a hurry with the money they collected from Soludo, even some girls that ordinarily should be selling something in the market. Girls that, you know, that is the one I saw that cannot run. That cannot run. 
current flag marching just to sabotage Biafra. <laughs> Hello, Mel. But I want to send this message to them because I have waited for them to, to send the video to the internet before I will give them the message. You see, Biafrans, I want to send this message to Biafrans. Do not panic. We know how they started it and we are going to end it. Believe me, we know how they started it. Even some of them, they were making calls, calling different people, calling different people, telling them, come and walk with us, come and do this, come. All those things are in my palm. In my palm. <laughs> so, 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 you know, all those things were in and they are all in my palm. I kept quiet. So what I did yesterday that made this thing to happen was because I decided to post the image from our, some, some or not all, some of our alliances. I post a recorded screenshot from our alliances. And I want Biafrans to see the facial expression of these powerful and wonderful commanders that are fighting for freedom of our people. When we discuss some things, the alliances is public. We post, there are people that, there are alliances that I cannot make public for certain reasons. <laughs> okay? There are alliances everywhere that I cannot come to make public. So, but those alliances that we make public are the people you know. So, I posted a screenshot yesterday and because they never believed that we are actually in alliance. <laughs> so, actually, that shocked a lot of people. It shocked them to see me and General Oji smiling. It shocked them to see me and the BNL leader smiling. It shocked all of them to see the smile on the face of people they thought would never come together. It was a big shock. So they needed to hurry, hurry, hurry. Let us get video. Give us video from Ohofia. Ohofia. From Ohofia. <laughs> You know, let us get video. Give me video. Give me video. Make match. Make match. Give me video. Parade yourself. Give me video. Let us post it. They got video from Ohofia. Why I'm making this? Why I'm saying this thing is that for them to know that there is nothing that happened where they do this parade that Simon Epa don't know. The other one they shocked them. And what is the plan? The plan is to give them guns and ammunition to go after our ESN. ESN of Mazin Namdikan. To go to Im State, to go to Anambra State to fight our ESN. That is, that is the reason why they bring them. But I'm just wondering. You know, who are the people that are going to carry this gun to fight our our almighty ESN? <laughs> okay? I, I, you know, is it the people we saw in the video or is there another? <laughs> the people we saw in the video, are they the ones that are going to stand our ESN? She like a gun very, very, very. I don't understand. So, so, so that, that puff puff that I saw, with three months, according to it, is not even up to three months. That puff puff that I saw is the one that is going to Imo State to fight ESN. Or is that puff puff that is going to go to Anambra to fight ESN just for election? <laughs> you know, what I don't want to validate is that 
I do not want Biafrans to validate the fact that the governors and the politicians in Nigeria haven't seen this, how serious we are. We, it will come to that kind of narrative that now they have set up another armed group to fight another armed group. No, I do not want to sell that narrative, but we are going to do deal with it internally in our own way. <laughs> Anybody that pick up arms against our ESN, you will go down. If you want to fight for Biafra, you fight for Biafra. Fight with your security. Fight your yes. Fight your Biafra. Don't touch Eastern Security Network under the leadership of Mazin Namdekan. Don't. But of course, we know already that that is exactly why they are setting them up. Why I'm making this comment today is for them to know how deep them. Okay? They must know how deep we are inside them. And you can't take us away. <laughs> no. <laughs> You know, I, I I looked at the puff puff, and uh, and uh, that one that puff puff got me. <laughs> it got it got me seriously rolling on the floor. <laughs> you know, you know, it got me rolling on the floor. So the, the, the thing here is that we are not against them setting their own whatever security ahead, but that is not a proof that they are not in charge of the Eastern Security Network. We have told you people several times, criminals who betrayed Mazinam Bekano and betrayed Biafra are not in charge. What you see now are the ignorant uh, people that are, they are using as dead men squad. And there is somebody called the second Dejima. You know, you people know that uh, I mentioned Dejima last time. You know, I mentioned Dejima, right? Uh -huh. You know that the Jima that I mentioned? There is a Jima that they wanted to use to kill Ikoso brother. Are you people aware? The Jima that I mentioned that they wanted to use to kill Ikoso brother, that is the second Ejima. You know, that's the second Ejima because the one that uh, cap was captured was the Ejima. That is the second Ejima. So that second Ejima also was part of the people that was parading. I want to give them details for them to know that it is not that I am inside there, that I am also doing their parade. That Ejima is there. I want to also inform them <laughs> you know, I want to inform them that if they cross Imo State, if they cross Imo State, if they cross Imo State from that Ohofia, where they are, if they ever leave that Ohofia where they are, crossing to go to Imo State, say they want to go and fight ESA. Sorry. I know that is the one the zoo will always report. Because they want to tell you how Biafra is bad, how Biafra people are doing this and doing that. Hi. If I if you know if you know anybody in that place, in those puff puff group you saw, if they ever cross from Ohofia that they are going to Imo State to fight ESA. Now what what in fact. Just that we hear the kepu kepu that they are going. Now, water, water. I am telling you the fact. We are not joking. 
I am telling you, water, water. So, and don't say the Afrans are doing something to the Afrans because we are warning you now if you have weird cloth, a very cheap cloth as a puff puff that some of you are, for less than three months, you went to some place and start in a badger for less than three months with your puff puff body. If you want to die, go to Imo State. Say you want to go and fight ESN. Go to Anambra that you want to go and fight ESN. But if you want to be alive, you just stay and do your Biafra. Don't go after any Biafra person. If they send you to go and fight Biafra, tell the person that you are not here to go after Biafra person. Uh -huh. Except you have chosen to be a sabo to betray your own people. And you know what happened to people who betray? ESN have not committed any crime. The only crime ESN committed about, according to these people, is because they decided to stand for Mazen Namdekan. They decided to stand for the truth Mazen Namdekan has preached for years. They decided to defend our land against Fulani. That is the only crime the Eastern Security Network has committed. So if you join these people, as Soludo have recruited and give them money, the worst part is that, the worst part is that, the money Soludo has given to them will not even be given to these people, of poor people. They will not give them the money. That is why we are naming them Nzama Security Outfit. They say, I got the wine. Anora Kanka, Nigomaraba. You understand? I got the wine. Anora Kanka, Nigomaraba. Ebuhamaraba, Bo Nzama. So Ludo will give them 100 million. They will give you 1 million. That is the Nzama, and you go and die for nothing. So Ludo will give them 200 million. It's government money. It's government money. So Ludo will give them 200 million. They will give you 1 million. You will go and die. You die for nothing. So Ludo can never give you money for you to come and fight him. No. And let me tell you, for some of you who do not understand, I am saying it very clearly that the people you saw, Mohammed Abbas from Kuwait and the Kwashoko man in Switzerland are the people, if you don't know what you have joined, you have joined a group of Nzama security outfit. Now, let me tell you our, our battle now. We are Biafra people and the Eastern Security Network. We are going to battle a Bubago. We are already doing that. We are battling the Nigeria terrorist state. We are already doing that. We are battling Asare, the man from the Greek uh, people, although <laughs> they are collecting it to water, water. We are battling those people. That is number three. We are battling the Fulani terrorists in our forest, number four. I want you to understand the number of battles that our Eastern Security Network are facing today. And now they have added one. But you know one thing about, one good thing about this one they added is that they are all puff puff, puff puff. There is nothing different from what they have been doing before. The only difference is that they sow cloth in a rare market and gave them cloth of one one thousand. They sow the cloth and gave them, and they gave them they gave them different cloth for you to understand that they are actually different. My people is a is a Ohofia South South. Is Ohosa Ohofia South South? Ohofia is not South South. We have Eastern Security Network in South South. We have Biafra group, different Biafra group, including militants, militant group that have, you know, joined Biafra movement. 
and they are no longer fighting for oil uh, control. And I have said it before, we are not going to be naming, uh, you know, <laughs> we're not going to be naming them, but the day we are going to start marching, you are going to be hearing it. You will be hearing water, water everywhere. So I want dear friends to not be disturbed by what you see, because is it, the, is it the Nigeria army? Have they defeated us? No. Have the Nigeria army defeated us? No. Is it, uh, is it, uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, what is it? The dead man squad of uh, three months or two months of uh, running in the, in the, in the, in the, in the sand in Ohofia that will come and face our ESN. Do you know how many, do you know, do you know the training of ESN? Do you know how many months, years they have been in the, in fact, I don't even need to go there. But I want to inform those that they have, that their children are part of this, are part of this Nzama security outfit to warn them if they cross, if they cross, now water, water will go give them. And that water, water will be with style, a different water, water. So we know that they are planning to go to Imo State. We know that they are planning to go to Anambra State as the Soludo, uh, Soludo and his group <clears throat> has, um, has uh, promised them. So uh, just to inform them that we know what is going on. And then also uh, we know where the, where the camp is, uh, of course, where they are doing this fake, fake marching and all that. So, but we are not against anybody to set up security outfit. Like I've said it, we are not against anybody, but just stay clear. Do not interfere in Biafra liberation. You can fight your own Biafra liberation in your Ohofia where you make the training. You can, you know, you can have your own fighting Biafra liberation there, but don't cross. If you cross a tipiage, a tipiage, and I tip your, I tip your charge, we will tip your phone, the, the hotel, the, that is how we're going to do it. We are not smiling these days. So I want Biafra to calm down and let us continue what we are doing. What we have come here to do this evening is, is to tell you that Biafra is coming. And because they know that Biafra is coming, they are fighting everything to destroy it. Some of you do not know the kind of pain they are going through that Mazinam Dikanu made it alive. <laughs> you don't know. No, 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 no. Some of you don't know the pain they are going through. I am telling you, you don't know the kind of people they are calling. They have been calling different people everywhere. And their problem is Simon Ekpa. They are calling people. Oh, how can we defeat Simon Epa? Uh, do you know something? How can we defeat Simon Epa? Don't you see that Simon Epa is the problem of Biafra? Simon Epa hates Biafra. Simon Epa don't want Biafra to come. Simon Epa is this. I am telling you, everybody they are calling. They are calling to people. They are calling to people. Come, come and help us. How can we defeat Simon Epa? We hear that Simon Epa is worshipping idol. We hear that Simon Epa is a spirit. We have, I am not a spirit. The only thing is that Nakamuk water, I am I have a clean heart and my mind is clean. I don't know what I have done to these people that <laughs> they are calling me, they are called everywhere inside. How can we how can we you know uh, how can we get a uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, uh, you know Simon uh, come uh, come you know we him he is this is that i want to tell them that every move you make i know it every move there is no move you make that i don't know so when i keep quiet when i keep quiet it's not because I don't want to talk. It's because I am waiting for something. You know? Because I do not understand 
Why somebody will start calling people, calling people all over the world, calling everywhere? Do you know Simon Ekpa is this? Simon Ekpa is that? Simon Ekpa is fighting against Biafra. Simon Ekpa is this. What can we do? He is. I just. I am just. When I sit down, I will be wondering the kind of juju they have done. And honestly, honestly, I am telling you the fact. I'm wondering the kind of juju they have done because if you hear some things like this, you you are going to be shocked. If you, I'm telling you, if you hear where this where these people are talking, how they will, what can they do, this that, and at the end of the day, I am going to hear it. So the thing they don't know is that nobody on this planet. As far as this Biafra struggle is concerned, nobody that you are going to talk to to plan evil against Mazin Amdikano or Simon Epa that I'm not going to be aware. You are not safe. You are not safe. There is nothing. So oh, there is nowhere you have gone to talk about me that I don't have the information. And that is what this would, they have not learned their lesson. So stop looking for Simon Ekpa. Makana Ega Dakwada. Now let us go to why we are here. We are here for, uh, you know, uh, the awareness to show you that Biafra is coming. Yesterday, we have a pastor. I don't know. I do not know where this pastor is from, but you know, God is speaking to everybody all over the world how prepared we are to get Biafra. So I want you to listen to this pastor. <laughs> When I laugh like this, <laughs> when I laugh like this, there. <laughs> no, the, the reason why I'm saying this, they have not learned their lesson. I want them to know that there is nothing, there is nothing you do. I don't know. There's nobody you contact today. I will not know. It's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. You know, and I have told them, I have told them, you cannot plan against me and I don't know. I have told them several times, leave Simon Epa alone. Simon Epa is not your problem. <laughs> Simon Epa is not your problem. All right, one moment. So I believe the Some of you may have watched this uh, video, but let me bring it again. So I believe that what you are going to see in Nigeria is a whirlwind of God who is going to start to discredit your political system. What you are about to see in Nigeria is a war wind of god who is going to start discrediting the political system <laughs> you understand this woman said what you are going to see in nigeria is a god wind which is going to start discrediting the political system how does that start how do you start to discredit the political system it is part of no election in Biafra land. What we are doing is divine. Divine. 
That is why God is speaking to Oyibos, Oyibo pastors, preparing the ground for next year. Because by the time it will begin to happen in Nigeria, everyone in this church will remember that this pastor has preached about this Nigeria political system. That is why Mazenam Dikano said, those of you who were born for this Biafra, and it is like someone is one of them that was born for this Biafra, although a lot of people don't like it. A lot of people don't like it. So I want you to understand that God is speaking preparing the people of the world. God is speaking, preparing for the people of the world for what is to come. I want to take it back again. So I believe that what you are going to see in Nigeria is a whirlwind of God who is going to start to discredit your political system. Did you hear that? The war wind of God who is going to start discrediting your political system. How do you discredit your political system? Is it about to, is it to be? No. Or be cannot discredit a political system when Obi already accepted to go into the poll in the name of Biafra. So if Obi, because some people will say, oh, he's preaching, she's preaching because of Obi. It's not because of Obi, she's preaching because of Biafra. Because we are the one taking the position to bring about discrediting of the political system in Nigeria. The no election in Biafra land will propel that discrediting of the political system in Nigeria. It is not Obi. Because Obi embraced the political system. So if Obi refused, if Obi back down today, it means Obi action, discredit the political system. I don't understand whether you people know what I'm saying. Because it is good when such things happen, we'll begin to you know, tell you what is going on. Uju Anya, some people are making Uju Anya made us proud. Yes, she made us proud. But I want you people to understand that Uju Anya's comment borders on Biafra war. Uju Anya's comment borders on Biafra war, the war of Biafra and the how Nigeria were never won. Uju has not gone deeper to explaining to the people what has happened in Nigeria after the war up till 2022. And we are looking up to her to do that. So it is a collective effort. And that is why we have to support Uju with her voice. Every Biafra have to support Uju to give her the support and the voice that she needed. But you know, before you know it now, when you do pick up the Biafra now, the Zama group will not like her. Because they will never like somebody who will come to the Biafra struggle with genuine heart to fight. She can never, you know, she can never cope with the mentality of the Zama group. Never. She can't. <laughs> she can, she's too, she, she's too rugged. She's too rugged and refined to be part of such people. So if Uju is going to join the Afra movement, <laughs> you know, if Uju is going to be a, join the Afra movement for at least people with education, people that are learned, people that are talking, where it is going to be autopilot. But I don't see her joining the Afra as such. She may be she may be supporting from the behind, which is not a bad thing. Okay, now. I want you people to understand one thing. Have it at the back of your mind that God spoke to this pastor and say that he is bringing a war of 
wind that will discredit the political system in Nigeria. And I am here to tell you today that the only group of agitating Biafra people that have made their stand to start the process of discrediting the political system in Nigeria are the autopilot IPOB. Because we have made our stand known from the one, no election. Why criminals have not made their stand because they work with the Nigerian government? They have become OB, all of them, all the criminals have become OB. And one good thing is that all the people they have are puff puff, puff puff people, puff puff. And it breaks some people have that the puff puff will be part of this bunch of criminals. Now, listen to her. Within the next 10 months, the Lord says that your political leaders will be exposed and discredited. <laughs> And the Lord says he will discredit their morality. He will discredit their integrity. He will discredit their financial dealings. I want you to understand. In the next 10 months, God will discredit your politicians in Nigeria. It's coming from Oyibo. I did not say it. In the next 10 months now let us calculate in the next 10 months today uh, this month is what september october november december january february march april may june july 10 months will end in july by then you are going to to know how far. <laughs> no, 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 July. I started from October. You are going to know how far. So, you, you see, one thing I want you people to know is that it is not going to be as accurate as she saying it. But, but you know what? We are going to help God to make this prophecy come through <laughs> okay we are going to help god to make this prophecy come through <laughs> okay that is the point we have to help god because it is not god going to come down from heaven to make this prophecy happen god have created us me created you God, you know, put you in Biafra agitation. God put you as part of the army of Biafra liberation. So God has given you the power to make things happen for your future. So when this particular message is coming, God is already revealing it to people. People. The message is not for you. Because you have seen this particular message long ago. That was why you joined Biafra movement. That was why you joined Arm Group to fight for Biafra. Because you saw Biafra, you have seen Biafra before you joined. If you didn't see Biafra, you wouldn't join and waste your time. So the reason why God is revealing it to white people today and pastors is to prepare their mind for next year. Because every single person in this church will remember this preaching. When the sound of gun and bullet will begin to rain in Nigeria next year for us to protect and fight for our freedom, they are going to remember what this woman was preaching that God said. And then some of them may be influential. And they will begin to, you know, reach out to whoever that is needed to reach out for anything. So uh, the message here is not for you and it's not for me. It's not for you as a Biafra. It is for those who are now in that church, listening to that preaching, preparing their mind for next year. From nowhere. I am telling you the fact. So tomorrow now, 
let's assume that this whole thing is happening and tomorrow now something happened and they say the afra people are ready to break away somebody is saying simon Ekba, you are wrong that you can uh, you are wrong we can only uh, be used by god if you are not an idiot you will not make that comment here because if you are if you are if you are not an idiot you will understand that before what i'm explaining now means that god for you to have come out for the biafra liberation god have already chosen you if you are not an idiot jonathan obona you will understand that before the beginning of this broadcast i played mazi namdi kano's voice which says those who were born for this particular movement to liberate biafra if you are not an idiot you will understand that those who are fighting for biafra today we are choosing by god to come and liberate biafra so what exactly some of you the idiot here are talking of course not some of you but this obona this is shaki all the thing they do is to look for when to attack somebody you know when to talk you know because some of them are very bitter when they come to your program to watch they are not watching the program to learn to listen to the voice of god and wisdom no they are looking for when you are going to say something wrong and they will comment it immediately but they will not hear they are not here to tell you oh you simon that is exactly it you got it right so that ishaki jonathan did not watch and listen to where mazin Namdikan was preaching about the people that were born for this Biafra movement that you are going to come out. So if you are born for Biafra movement, why are you now here correcting Simon Epa that we must be chosen by God? Are you not Ishaki? That is why some of you, of puff like you, are going to join Nzama security outfit. Just to blackmail Simon Epa. It does not matter that you are here, you will say, oh, I am a, I am a, I am a, a adult follower of, of you. Oh, I am listening to your program. You are a fake listener to Simon Epa program. You are a fake. Fake one. That Jonathan is fake. Fake listener. These are the people who come to look for, uh, to look for, <laughs> somebody said I should laugh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You know that for a very long time now, I have not picked on somebody. You know, when I pick on you, I get bad mouth. So I have not picked on somebody. And this person knows that he is never pure. That Jonathan, whatever, Obona, is not pure. Is he shaki? Is she coconut? Is she the? Not is she the often the Akwaibomo because, you know, Akwaibomo people ask her is she so Ishede, their own Ishede is the name of Ishede. It's a good Ishede. Not, uh, this Ishede of Jonathan is complete Ishede. Water, water Ishede. is an Ishak. In the class, you see. When teacher will be teaching, they will be busy looking at, uh, at, uh, at uh, you know, some, some beautiful girls in the class. And then when it is time to ask question, they will first of all raise their hand. They will say, can you explain what I have just said now? They will be the one, first of all, to raise their hand. Teacher, I know it. And the reason why they are raising hand is to impress the girl in the class, thinking that when they raise up their hand, the teacher will say, no, 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 I will not ask you because you know it. They want to impress the girl. And then when the teacher have asked the people that didn't raise their hand, come, okay, Chiku, where is your he said, tell me what I was what I was what was I talking about? Okay, Chiku will answer and we fail it. The girl, the girl that this Jonathan Obona was looking at, we try to laugh. Ah, ha, ha, okay, did not know it. And then as this thing is going on, this Jonathan Obona hand will still be up because he thinks that the teacher will not ask him the question. And then when 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 the teacher finally decided to say, Oh Bona, the brainy boy. Obona Jonathan, the brainy boy. Oh yeah, teach them, teach them. Ndishaki, teach them. Obona, <laughs> Obona will destroy the class. <laughs> Obona, 
I know them. I know I I know them. <laughs> I know how they behave. So Obona will open his mouth and destroy the class. <laughs> And then, and then, and then, and then from there, from there, the girl, the girl will disappear in his life. <laughs> you know, all right. I am telling you this. The story I'm telling you it is happening, and the people like Obona are the people that will do. You know, you know, you know how class. You know, in those days, people like Obona are the ones that are constituting those losers in the class. Instead of them to listen attentively to the teaching of the teacher. No, they know it all. Before teacher will pronounce A, they're already telling you is B. B is missing. You know, when teacher want to say C, they tell the teacher there is D. You did not mention D. Why the teacher, teacher was still preparing to mention D? So I want you to understand that we continue. He has distracted us, uh, you know, distracted us a little. <laughs> He cannot go and enjoy this hyping I gave him today. <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right, let us <laughs> let us uh, let us continue. So I believe. All right. <laughs> Wait, you can assign me. <laughs> Wait, you can assign me. I don't know anything. Though. All right, let us continue. that what you are about to see in Nigeria is a whirlwind of God who is going to start to discredit your political system. Within the next 10 months, the Lord says that your political leaders will be exposed and discredited. And the Lord says he will discredit their morality he will discredit their integrity he will discredit their financial dealings he will discredit their lifestyle choices and he says watch as I bring a sustained humiliation to the system of leadership within this nation he said I want you to understand he said, uh, she said that God will bring a sustained, sustained humiliation. Sustained. A humiliation that will be sustained. Hey! Uh, we don't know this woman. No. The woman said that God is going to bring sustained humiliation to Nigeria in the next 10 months. Sustained. Or the line the word. Eleanor Or the line the word sustained. Sustained humiliation. When this woman talk about politician, who is he talking about? Who is she talking about? about she's talking about p2b she's talking about Atiku. she's talking about you 
Tinubu. She's talking about these people. She's talking about the Southeast governors. She's talking about the president. She's talking about the politician. All of them are the same thing. And God said, he is going to bring a sustained humiliation in the next 10 months to Nigeria. And God is using us. <laughs> Let us go by the word of Jonathan this time around to make him happy because since I talked to Jonathan, I didn't see his comment again. Obona Jonathan disappeared because I talked to him. So let us borrow the word of Obona Jonathan because God is going to use us to sustain the humiliation that is coming to Nigeria. And that will give birth to Biafra in 2023. I want you people to understand that the criminals in IPOB the criminals in IPOB, those who sold Mazin and Bikano, they never believed that Biafra would come. After over 10 years of contribution, 10 years of contribution, you contribute money to give them. There is nothing to show for it. Absolutely nothing. Even when Mazin and Bikano asked them to give money to those who have injured, who have injured, if we tell you the record we have, you are going to stone these people to death. I am telling you. There are people that sustain injury. Mazinam, they can give order. Give them $1,000 to treat themselves. Give them $500. Give them this and give them. And the money was given. These people never received shishi. Shishi. We have cases. Cases of many people that have been injured in their duty for Biafra. Mazinam the Kano ordered them to give money to this person for treatment. Shishi. $1,000, they pocketed. $500, they pocketed. $2,000, they pocketed. Money did not get to these people. Upon all this contribution they have done for many years, as I'm telling you today, there is absolutely nothing, nothing to show. Nothing. Nothing. It's very hard. It's heartbreaking. That is why when we are shouting fundraising, fundraising, some of them don't, you know, they, you know, when you hear them say, oh, Simon Eckbert is raising fund for himself. Because that is what they do. That is what they do. That is what they do. You hear them, Simon Eckbert is raising fund for himself. You will begin to wonder, which heart? How can somebody have heart of raising fund? A fund that is supposed to be used to look after the people that are putting their life on the line back home. Someone will have the mind, the gut, to say somebody is raising for because that is what they did for many years. Now, look at our progress. Within six months, within six months, look at our progress. Radio stations everywhere, even though it is not covering the entire Biafra yet. But do you know how many years it took these criminals to put on a radio station? Look at the ESN. ESN everywhere in entire Biafra. Our forest being protected. We are creating data and everything for our security network. The money is not enough. And that is why we will continue to raise funds, even if it is going to be three times a month. Because it is now the Biafra struggle started. I am telling you the fact. These people tried to destroy Mazen Namdikan. Every effort of that man. Shy. Oh, God. No wonder. 
No wonder Mazin Namdekano is shouting for 100 men. You think the 100 men Mazin Namdekano is shouting is those who will carry guns to fight for Biafra? No. The 100 men he was shouting for is people that can work with him and hold the ground against these evil people. And the doctor pilot, Mazin they cannot have that 100 men because together they have defeated them. Today they are waiting, they are waiting for Mazin they can to come out and say anything against them. And the hell will let loose. But before then, we have caught their tails. Even now, they don't have tail again. We started cutting their tail ahead of time. So when Mazinam, they cannot come and speak, good. let them do PIM. If you hear where they are talking about Simon Epa, you'll be, one, you'll, be, you'll be wondering. I am telling you. If you hear where these people are calling people to convince them against Simon Epa, you are going to be shocked. They'll be telling them, do you know Simon Epa is the one who sold Mazinam the Kano? Do you know? And they will ask them, what is the is Simon Epa, what is your evidence? They will say, ah, you don't know evidence. Ah, yeah, you know, watching his program, he is doing everything against Mazinam the Kano. He is the one who betrayed it. He is destroying Biafra. He is fighting the hand. All of you can now see my my act, the actions we are doing. Is it is it contrary to Biafra's struggle? <laughs> okay, because they never ever believed, you know, and that is why I told them they should have gone to their native doctors to because I will always be mentioning native doctor. That is what they do. That is what they do. Go and ask question. Ask your is the one question. Is Simon Epa evil person? Is Simon Epa betraying this struggle? Because that is the only thing, only time something you do against me will work. That is the only time. Ask your is the one. All those people need a blue refi. They may know captation and all that. And let me tell you, people, this group of Zamak security you saw now, the one I oppose surgery, the one that they call surgery. They are part of the gangs that, uh, you know, let us fix it. Let us, that is why you saw him coming to social media. To the, <laughs> you know, you know, some of them, what, what they don't know is that we monitor them like, like which, you know how which take the monitor people, <laughs> you know, you know, not the bad witch, you know, uh, you know how which take the monitor in those days, you know, these, uh, all those uh, village witch, you know, immediately you sleep, oh, bam. That is when the witch will come. They are waiting, monitoring you, monitoring you. Immediately you sleep, bam, the witch have landed. You will just, if you just open your eye, bam, you will see as if something just disappeared. You know, <laughs> you will notice that something disappeared. You will be saying that something disappeared here. <laughs> you don't know that it is the is the witch is the witch that is in you <laughs> and uh, the witch will disappear and stand walk on her <laughs> walk on her of the world will be watching you like this <laughs> and, uh, what thing about what thing about these things is that even the witch self they fear you when you get away the witch they fear you when you are awake <laughs> because because we tell uh, with all the power of disappearing and all the power of the witch, when you get up, they, they run away. <laughs> they get scared of you. I, 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 you know, we really need to be asked, we really need to ask witch people, why are they running away from people that they have come to, to suck their blood? <laughs> okay. We want to know why the witches are running away from people that have come to suck their blood because they have the power. They have the power to disappear. <laughs> they have the power to enter the wall and all that. But when the person wake up, bah, they, they go to walk out. <laughs> they go to walk, they go to walk out and wait. I'll be monitoring you until once you fall asleep again. Yeah, they come again. So it's like there is power in you that is bigger than them. <laughs> But you know that something is wrong. We need to start asking this question. So go and ask <clears throat> your native doctor: Is Simonette Bajenu in this struggle, or is a, you know is he a sabo? <laughs> so it is only when I am sabo 
that your juju can work. Because I cannot come here and start talking something else, deceiving people, and then do something else. And you think that the spirit of Biafra will allow me. No. That is why I've been able to, God has been able to use me to destroy all of you. Because you are not pure. If you are pure, you will not fight against me. If you are pure, you will never go down. But every day, you continue to struggle. You continue to post videos of a, a, a security outfit. You continue to post video of people with gun. You continue to post video of people shooting elephant and uh, shooting cow in the forest. You continue to post video. But I have not posted any video. But Biafra knows that uh, we, you know, we are doing something. <laughs> I have not posted any video of, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, people with a uh, dead gun. Uh, killing, uh, killing cow. I have not posted such video. I have not posted video of people doing acrobatic in the forest because they even post to the extent of their posting video of acrobatic. They say, "Oh, ESM gallant men, they are doing acrobatic in the in the forest." They post it. <laughs> okay, they post acrobatic video. They post where the people they are hanging like this with God. All those things you have never seen. You posted it but people be of Biafra, their eyes are open. So I want you to name these people they paraded today as Nzama Security Outfit. And of course, we use this opportunity to call our men on ground or the Eastern Security Network or command to be very alert and watch those who comes to them and watch those who calls them and watch those who they interact with. We know exactly what is going on and uh, you know so we are going to take them on before they do anything so let us continue and the lord says i will agitate and convulse and and show my power for i'm going to bring a chaos war where I whirlwind them out of their seats. But Did you hear that? God will say that he is going to bring a chaotic war against Nigeria state. Hey! She naked God. God will use us. That he is going to use us for that chaotic war. I have been saying it. Have you not heard me saying it? Did you not hear me saying it? We know the hard mouth too. We have been saying we are going to fight Nigeria tooth to tooth. Nail to nail, shoulder to shoulder. We will fight for this freedom. We have been fighting this for many years, over 50 years. This generation of Biafra will get it. I am telling you, next year, I want you people to understand the level, the spirituality of Biafra. This woman is talking about Biafra. She don't know, she don't know what, you know, you know the message, you know how God message comes. God message comes now, you know, the, you know the, the way God deliver message is not the way of man. Okay? So God is talking to you that I yet to understand that the autopilot, under the leadership of Mazin and Dekano, has come to restore Biafra. God will say he is going to bring a chaotic war, not ordinary war, chaotic. And we are going to bring, we are already starting guerrilla welfare for Biafra liberation. So if you look at the chaotic war, you look at the guerrilla warfare, you find out that they are the same. But God will give message differently. Why I'm explaining this, analyzing this prophecy is for you to prepare your mind. Though. Prepare your mind. And while we are planning this thing, Indian Zama is planning for P2B. Indian Zama. What are you doing with I'm an uh, uh, Yes, God message it comes. <laughs> you know, yes, it is one thing is to receive the message 
Another thing is to interpret the message. When the message of God came through the dream, you know, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know whether I don't know whether Pastor Pastor Eweka, Eweka Livingston is watching me. <laughs> Let me know go and put uh, <laughs> I'll put uh, rock, <laughs> rock Bible. <laughs> You know, Pastor Eweka, Pastor Eweka Livingston, you know the joke, you know the joke with, uh, you know the joke with the rock and Bible quotation. <laughs> so even if, even if you are in the middle, in the middle of, uh, in the middle of meeting and the, and the quote, and the quote any, any rock by mistake of, <laughs> by mistake of slip of tongue, you misquote the Bible, Pastor Eweka. <laughs> The mechanic is still, we leave everything. <laughs> we leave everything and, and correct you first. <laughs> so let me not go. Pastor Mecca, I am in So I take exceptional from this. <laughs> I take exceptional from this before I put this Bible. So you know, in the Bible, when when uh, when uh, when uh, Pharaoh, when Pharaoh, when Pharaoh dream, you know. <laughs> When Pharaoh dream, when Pharaoh had this dream, they were looking for, they were looking for who to interpret this dream. I hope I'm putting this thing right because I have not put Bible. Uh, I have not mentioned the vice of Bible where the Pharaoh had the dream. But the, the bone of the contention is that Pharaoh had a dream. <laughs> okay. And is it Pharaoh? Right? Pharaoh had a, <laughs> Pharaoh had a dream. Okay. And in that dream, Pharaoh was looking for who to interpret it. So the message of God to Pharaoh in the dream is not what the interpreter of the dream explained to Pharaoh. Pharaoh know that this dream means something, yeah, but he don't know what uh, he don't know what the dream means. Okay, but, so somebody have to come and explain. So I am explaining the prophecy of this woman because everything he say, she's saying here falls within our plan for Biafra. And I do not know, <laughs> I do not know who she is before because you know when I posted this thing yesterday on Twitter, somebody uh, started commenting, Oh, Simon Epa have paid this woman to come and give prophecy. Go to my Twitter, you are going to see it. <laughs> Simon Epa, I am telling I am telling you the truth. This Zama people they, somebody commented on my Twitter that. I have paid this woman. <laughs> All right, so let us continue. <laughs> Agitate and convulse and shake and show my power for I am going to bring a chaos war where I whirlwind them out of their seats. But I am going to bring a chaos war where I will win them out of their seat. But the Lord says you have 10 months because the Lord says if I come with a discredited chapter one whirlwind you must have dealt with leviathan or leviathan will retake back the leadership of nigeria but you know it is seven times worse at that point chai do you understand what this woman say this woman said that god say god is coming with a chaos war in 10 months time and if you did not get biafra if nigeria did not disintegrate next year hey this woman said that god will say if you did not participate in this dis disintegration of nigeria you are going to enter several times worse than what you have now I have become interpreter of of our Lord. Interpreter. I don't call off man. The message here is if you do not participate, for those of you who have the money to facilitate this disintegration of Nigeria, 
you are going to enter worse, seven times worse situation than you are now. And <laughs> I do not need to tell you. Let us listen to it again. This is very important. of leadership within this nation and the Lord says I will agitate and convulse and shake God said I will agitate convulse and shake and show my power and show my power for I am going to bring for I am going to bring a chaos war a chaos war where i will win them where i will win them out of their seat out of their seat but the lord says you have 10 months but the lord said you have 10 months because the lord says if i come because the lord said if I come with a discrediting mayhem chapter, with a discrediting mayhem, I want you to understand the, the woman is using a very strong word. He have, she have used a chaos war. She is not using a discrediting mayhem. Mayhem. After one whirlwind, you must have dealt with Leviathan or Leviathan will retake leadership of Nigeria. Are you hearing that? That he is going to come with a mayhem and by then you must have dealt with the Leviathis. I do not know whether this Leviathis is something in the Bible. So Pastor Emeka Livingstone, are you there to tell us if this, uh, we want to read Pastor Emeka Livingstone comment. Oh, Alenor Okoro. Alenor Okoro is also, uh, is also a, very good, uh, a very good preacher. Okay? Uh, Alenor Okoro is, uh, is a preacher. So, Alenor Okoro, this woman is talking about the Leviathan, you know, uh, you, you know uh, that if we do not uh, carry out the chaotic or the chaos war against the Nigeria state, that we are going to allow this Leviathan, you know, to take over, which is going to be seven times worse than what we have now. The Leviathan is a mighty monster. <laughs> okay. I want you people to understand, though, if you do not break Nigeria and Biafra to come next year, you are going to give way to a Leviathan which some people say is a monster, and you are going to enter seven times worse than the situation you are today. I want you to understand this message from the beginning. You know, we are going to play it again. From the beginning, the woman was talking to politician, and when you talk about the evil politician in Nigeria, you talk about uh, um, Atiku, at least those running for president. You talk about Atiku, you talk about P2B, you talk about uh, Tinubu, you talk about uh, Kwankwaso, you, you know. So these are evil. There is nothing you can say they are all the same. Evil politician. Now, for those who will say, uh, Peter B is different. Peter B is, is a lie. The only reason some people are talking about Peter B is because he is using the name of Piaf. We have been able to prove that. And even the northern Nigeria is happy with P2B. They say P2B is doing something well, uh, fine. You know, Omahi even say, I like what P2B is doing. What is it that P2B is doing that Omahi like? The, according to them, P2B is carrying Biafra status. I was watching one beneath, one beneath uh, comedy, comedian. You know, all of them are, you know, the uh, Bini comedian. So the Bini guy, the Bini, the video of the Bini guy, you know, <laughs> I, you know, I used to, you know, 
I used to watch their video now. <laughs> not even, no, 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 not that one. No. Not that one. No. Let me refresh this. No, no, no. Not, um, not that, not that one. No, 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 no. Not that one they call Parara. Uh -huh. Not the Parara. No. You know, I told you people the other day that I will be creating content for Parara. <laughs> what is it called? He come like this, Simon, Simon. You know, I told you people, I'll be creating content. Am I not creating content for him? You did not see the other video he made the other day. We create content. That is what I'm doing now. And the more people are watching me, you know, on this Parara program, they will be searching for Simon Egba. Ebumike. Ebumike Pentecost. Pentecost. Once you watch Simon Egba, you will be glued. So when they see me on Parara Mock News, you know, because I told him when I made the first ever video I exposed about Parara, mocking Biafra. He was making joke. I said, I am going to be creating content so that you are going to use your platform to advertise Biafra. And he doesn't even know that he's doing that. He thought he's blackmailing me. <laughs> he thought he thought he's blackmailing me. He's showing the video of uh, uh, Mazin and the Kano wife. He's showing the video of Simon Epa. He said that we are fighting. Biafra is fighting. They have not even gotten the Biafra, they are fighting. And these people are very stupid. When you think that all oh, these comedians have brain, they don't have brain, no. Their brain are like change. Change brain. <laughs> when this our this is our brother that used to talk, uh, <laughs> that used to talk very funny. He said that change, that in the all these criminals were biting Mazinam the kind of like change. At the side, or by the side, at the higher side, or by the side. So these people brain are like change. They don't have brain. All these uh, all these uh, comedians, Parara. Who is Parara? You know, when you look about, uh, you will look Parara. You know, you know, you know. Yeah, Parara. You know, the Afra are fighting. You know, the Afra. Even the country where the idiot is living, he don't. He didn't know that they fight in Tana War. There, <laughs> he came there. He come. He's making video. He's traveling abroad. Oh, he's abroad. He's making... He don't know that the country where he is living and he making dreadlock that is not, uh, you know, is not uh, European. <clears throat> he's making dreadlock. He's dreadlock European. He made dreadlock like this. The country where he is, they fought internal war. <laughs> okay? He came. Oh, they are fighting each other. They have not even gotten the Biafra. They are is that your problem? Are you a Biafra? Parara is not a Biafra. They are more concerned about our problem than their own problem. That Parara cannot even travel to Bini. He can't go to bypass in the night. Too. He can't travel. They are so concerned about Indi Igbo. They hate Igbos. They are not, they, you know, they just love P2B. And the thing they are doing is they thought they are mocking and blackmailing us. So he was posting the video of me and Mazin and the Kano wife. Uh, they are fighting. You know. He is promoting us in his platform. I don't know how many people he follow, but follow him and all that. You know, even though we have we have more followers than all of them combined. Our followers are up to 40 million. 40 million views. Just you know, on, on, on YouTube alone. 40 million. Now, you know, so but the, the, the idea here is that some of the people that watch their program are not interested in Biafra. You, you understand? So it is going to force them to be showing us in their program, especially our target is those, those ones that are not interested in Biafra. They will watch us by force. Once Parara come, hey, Parara, Biafra, Biafra, they will say, okay, let us watch. They will see my face. Once you see my face, Amado Hejidegi, Amado, I will arrest you. Amadeo, once you see my face in that parara, Amadeo, I will arrest you. You will begin to search for Simon Epa. And then you are going to watch my video and you are going to be converted. That is the way it works. When you watch one thing, you are going to come again. You are going to come again. Before you know it, you're autopilot. I am telling you. 
autopilot, automatic pilot. <laughs> and where Chiki does here, where Chiki does here, and uh, the Mohammed Abbas, you know, they'll be wondering which you do this guy is using. <laughs> <laughs> all the tea are done, all the tea are done. <laughs> Chai, they don't know that the juju is truth. <laughs> juju is doing the right thing. <laughs> they have been wasting animal every day. They contribute all the money you contribute to them. Ha, they have finished all the uh, all the house goat in in a, in a, you know half year. All the house house cow. All the house cow they have finished them, you know, if ever ever they may sacrifice. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow, they will say, Oh, it is like this, it is like this thing is working. Let us go on social media, let us post the video. It's like it is working. People are coming back. People are coming. <laughs> you know, when they go, when they go to, to London, to you know what they do now is to they threat people. Hey, if you talk, they will threaten you. Just release, they will threaten. You know what they do? All those people that will get their voice and all that. Once we play the voice finishing, bah, threaten from air to from from up to down. And we will kill you. We will know your place. You will know where you live. We are going to come there. And these people have never killed even a chinch. Look at the people that are attacking Mazin and the Kanu all over Nigeria, insulting him. They have never looked for them. Or some of them, or even even in the one all those ones in talking before. They were with them, but they didn't do anything. No. But they are the one to threaten how they are going to kill this one and kill that. They have never killed any Fulani. Not even one. In fact, some of them have Nigeria embassy. Nigeria embassy in their country. They have Nigeria embassy in their country. And they cannot even go to the Nigeria embassy door and knock. But you see them shouting on social media. Eh, we know where you live. We know this one. You, if you want to get Nigeria easily, go to the embassy. That is when everybody will listen to you. They cannot go to the embassy. They know where the embassy. Some of them in Italy, you know, those ones who create a, who create a group in Italy where they are going to be planning how to kill people and all that. They they have a, a Nigeria embassy in Italy. They cannot go there. And some of them are Fulani, they're in the embassy. They cannot go there to protest. Oh, embassy, we are here now. You are killing us. Nigeria is killing us. We will burn here down. We will destroy your door. We will do this. No. They are looking for their friends who, according to them, has become a threat to their career. Because freedom is their career. <laughs> All right. So, so let us continue. We are going to play it again so that you understand the message from this woman of God. Watch as I bring a sustained humiliation to the system of shit within this nation. And the Lord says, I will agitate and convulse and shake and show my power for I am going to bring a chaos war where I whirlwind them out of their seats but the Lord says you have 10 months because the Lord says if I come with a discrediting Nahum chapter 1 whirlwind you must have dealt with Leviathan or Leviathan will retake back the leadership of Nigeria but you know it is seven times worse at that point did he hear that did he hear that God said that he is coming to bring a chaos war with you know through us to liberate Biafra and God said if you did not join this chaos war to liberate Biafra he is going, the Leviathan is going to come back and it is going to be seven times worse than what you see today. My people, you see, 
That is why we are focusing. We are not moved. And I'm going to play this audio from the beginning to the end uninterrupted. Listen. So I believe from the beginning to the end uninterrupted. So I believe that what you are about to see in Nigeria is a whirlwind of God who is going to start to discredit your political system. Within the next 10 months, the Lord says that your political leaders will be exposed and discredited. The Lord says he will discredit their morality, he will discredit their integrity, he will discredit their financial dealings, he will discredit their lifestyle choices, and he says, watch as I bring a sustained humiliation to the system of leadership this nation says i will agitate and convulse and shake and show my power for i am to bring a war where i whirlwind them out of their seats but the lord says you can months because the lord says if i come with a discrediting nahum chapter one whirlwind you must have dealt with leviathan or leviathan will retake back the leadership of nigeria but you know it is seven times worse at that point. did you hear that that if you do not come together to support the disintegration of Nigeria and only Biafra will do this and do that at the end of the day, if you find yourself back in Nigeria, you are going to be worse than you know, seven times. Seven times worse. It is the word of God. And I want you people to understand that in this particular last weekend, everything happened. God was speaking to everybody. God was speaking to everybody. This message was last weekend. God also speak to Obasanjo. God also speak to President Jonathan. All of them were speaking. You don't know what is coming. We are serious. So listen to Obasanjo. Thank you. Thank you. Please be seated. Verses one and two. Yes, a people get in the so to the car. I read, let my people go so that they may hold a festival for me in the desert. Who is the Lord? that I should obey him. Again, Pharaoh said to God, who is he that I should obey him? Who is he that I should obey him? There is no reason whatsoever for Basanjo to start speaking. You know, some people, when, you know, when I play the video, they say, oh, Basanjo is a con man. Obasanjo is a disgrace. Obasanjo, hey, we agree. We agree that Obasanjo is a bad man. We agree. We agree that Obasanjo is a, this one. We agree. But is Obasanjo not preaching the word of God that you wanted to hear? That is what matters to me. The message you will always go by, take the message and leave the messenger. So why can't we, the Biafra people, begin to learn to take the message and forget the messenger? 
Why must we be concerned about who the message is coming from? Why must we be concerned about the messenger? Must the messenger be a holy person? No. It does not matter who the messenger is. But is the message good? The answer is yes. So it is the same weekend. Everything is happening. Same weekend. Everybody. The fire was burning everywhere. The fire was burning in Ogodo Ibo. The fire was burning in Nigeria. The fire was burning in all the camps. And Obasanjo began to preach, Pharaoh, let my people go. And let Israel go. I do not know the Lord, and I will not let Israel go. Aaron and Pharaoh is fully. Pharaoh and he rejected the word of God. But not only did he reject. He said he did not know God and he didn't want to know God and of course he will not let Israel go. And did you hear that? Did you hear that? Obasanjo told you that Pharaoh said he did not know God and he will not let Israel to go. There is no reason whatsoever for Obasanjo to come last Sunday and start preaching Pharaoh let my people go. Because Obasanjo know that Nigeria have expired and we will destroy it. We will destroy Nigeria. I am telling you the fact. I am not hiding my mouth. You see, Nigeria have destroyed the future. Many, many, many generational futures have been destroyed. And it is our turn to destroy Nigeria. And Nigeria will be destroyed immediately Biafra exit. So Basanjo is asking, Pharaoh, let my people go, which is Yoruba, who do the one nation, and uh, of course, every other nation that want to leave. That is what Basanjo is asking. But of course, you know, as a president of, uh, as a former president of Nigeria, you know, who is uh, uh, a, a state man, uh, it, is, it is going to be uh, a disaster for him to come and start leading the front. <laughs> okay, considering his, uh, you know, business interest and everything, as a former president of Nigeria. No, they will say, oh, because uh, his person did not win, that is why he is bringing war. Oh, no, 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 no. Let us just keep quiet and allow us to do the job to liberate our people. I am telling you, they should just keep quiet. And, uh, you know, when when we start, they can, they can come out to talk. They are not sending us. We are sending ourselves to liberate our people. So Abbas Andrew is not our sponsor. Uh, neither Jonathan is our sponsor. If they are our sponsor, we'll get money. <laughs> We have it by now. We'll be in the military, by now, jet will be flying everywhere now. We'll be, we'll be dealing with uh, with uh, this, this terrorist. I'm telling you, if Obasanjo come and begin to say, you know, Obasanjo should come, you know, let him give money. Jonathan should come, but they will not because they are scared. They think that uh, the Biafra liberation today there is in the hand of uh, criminals that will come and tell and uh, say tomorrow, Obasanjo, give us money. Uh, Jonathan give us money and all that. We don't want their money, but let them wait until the right time. But let them get prepared because we are going to get our freedom next year. To the title of my exhortation. What then is testimony? Testimony is evidence given by a witness. Testimony must put God first. 
you have seen in David uh, in Joseph. We are to read, you know, Joseph who? Joseph did and he made God the actual interpreter of dreams. So if you are not say all the time I want to learn it, we must in our testimony. Ah, God, you know I read what people make God look good. I get your own good data. There will be people. There will be people. I want your your work like Pharaoh. Be Pharaoh in our second passage. And remember, he said, I do not know the Lord. I do not know let Israel go. You did not know the Lord. And you didn't want to know the Lord. He rejected even the words of the Lord. Oh, the message of the Lord. Lord. And his, his end. Oh, or destruction. Only paro self-destruction. The paro no chichi. Did you hear that? And the end was destruction. Self-destruction. Obasanjo is preaching this. The same Sunday, this woman was preaching how Nigeria will be destroyed by God next year in 10 months' time. Obasanjo from nowhere. Out of the blue moon, begin to preach Pharaoh, let my people go. How God will destroy Pharaoh, how God will be this. Uh, woman in abroad in Ogodoibo was somewhere in Ogodoibo preaching Nigeria in 10 months' time. How Nigeria will be destroyed. And that if you do not destroy Nigeria by next year, you are going to enter seven times worse than your situation. So the message here is that. Everybody should rise up and stand behind the Biafra because we are going to take the lead. We are the most affected people in Nigeria. We are the most, you know, the people that have paid the biggest price of one Nigeria. So we are going to take the lead. We are not begging anybody to come and start it. No, we are not telling, we are not saying, oh, come, 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 and so we can start. No, 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 no. Follow us, we will lead. And of course, <laughs> we lead. You stay in your own uh, your own side. We are going to stay in our own side. But when we when we knock the the, the, the drum, you answer. And it is going to start with no election. I want people to understand what is you know the plan we have is very very simple. We are not uh, you know only the, you are not going to conduct election in our land. As simple as that. As simple as that. That is not two ways. And then we are going to open the stage. Today I was talking to Biafra people in Nigeria, Boko Haram controlled and If they send you to Biafra land to come and kill us, if you enter Old Eastern region, Naloha Ben Johnson, Wa, Walie, Oburo Odumeje, Walie. Once you enter, if you just cross, enter Asaba, Delta State. Omwe Gihesi Weme, Wa, take everything, drop your bag, Wadi, because, oh, what water, the water, 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 once Kaga Kuya, we are going. Once Kaga Kuya, the highest thing you will hear from all, that, all these people, all this nonsense, they will begin to give stupid statement. We know them. All this statement. It is only to show how serious we are. Nigeria is not one. Nigeria is a destroyer of destiny. Nigeria is a threat to global peace. Nigeria as a nation now has become a threat. People don't even know that. Nigeria is a threat to European Union. 
Nigeria is a threat to America. Nigeria is a threat. When all these terrorists now come together to get the oil in Nigeria, it is going to be a global threat. So, and we are not going to allow that to happen. Let us start this particular thing and let us let them come and ask us questions why we are doing what we are doing and we are going to answer them. The United Nations, the reason for the United Nations is for global peace. And there is only one way to make peace in West Africa and in Sahel region. It is by disintegrating Nigeria. Dividing Nigeria along tribal or ethnic line. As simple as that. Every day they will tell you, oh, Nigeria must be one. What is your benefit? Your blood. What is Nigeria paying, giving to you? Taking the blood of people. And we cannot continue to validate Nigeria with the blood of our people. Come to 2023. History we are making. We are making the history. A lot of down. God showed him in miracles and finally in self destruction, the power and the mightiness of all of the to the We have modern pharaohs. I do not know God. And don't want to know God. They will mock you. They will ridicule you. They will reject the words. No. Did you hear that? They will ridicule you. Are they not ridiculing me? <laughs> they will reject your word. Are they not rejecting me? They will mock you. Are they not mocking me? The same thing. The same thing. But speak and stand by the truth. Listen. No matter what testimony you give, that should never worry you. It should never worry you. Obasanjo is talking to me that they are going to mock me. They are going to insult me, but it should not worry me. That is the word of Obasanjo to me, Simon Ekpa. Let us listen to him again. Instruction, the power and the mightiness of God. We have modern pharaohs. Do not know God. I don't want to know God. They will mock you. They will ridicule you. They will reject your words. They will mock you. They say, Obasanjo said they will mock me. Obasanjo say. They will ridicule me. Papa San just say they will you know, <laughs> reject my word. They will reject my word. They will ridicule me. They will mock me. Have done all these things not happen? It is happening. Listen to what Obasan just said to me. No matter what testimony you give. That should never worry you. No matter what, that should not worry me. <laughs> of course, I just said, that should not worry me. I want you to understand the reason why I am saying Obasanjo is talking to me. Of course, when Obasanjo is talking to me, he's talking to all of you. Biafra people and will do the one nations now. Because there is no other person that is talking about Pharaoh, Pharaoh let my people go, except you and I. 
So he's not talking to Nigeria. He's not talking to Nigerians. He's not talking to Obi. Obi is not looking for Pharaoh, let my people go. <laughs> Obi is part of Pharaoh. So he's talking to you and I. Do you understand me? And there is no reason, there is no comparison in Pharaoh, let my people go and 2023 election. <laughs> okay? So that is why I say he's talking to me. Now let us listen to him. You must stand firm and still proclaim your faith. Listen now. And your belief and what you know to be right. And your belief and what you know to be right. I am, are you listening? <laughs> okay. The faith of Pharaoh must teach anyone a lesson of the mightiness and miracle and immensity of God. The story of Pharaoh must teach anyone the powerful and the power of God. The story of Pharaoh must teach anyone how powerful God is. And when you connect this particular preaching of Obas and John to the preaching of women, I just, the pastor, I just play her audio and her prophecy. You will find out there is connection in the dot. Obas and John is talking about how powerful God is and using Pharaoh. And the woman is telling you that God is bringing a chaos war, a chaos war in, in 10 months' time in Nigeria. And God is saying he's going to destroy politicians in Nigeria. The woman is saying it. Obasanjo is now saying the God that you know, how God showed his power to destroy Pharaoh. Now, I want you people to listen. <laughs> Success begets envy. I say your mom jealousy. Pull him down. Are you hearing that? Obasanjo is a what's a Biafra agitator. Obasanjo, jealousy. Jealousy. Pull him down. I do not know where Obasanjo is getting this pull him down and jealousy from the Nigeria political contest because he I don't see that. So he is definitely talking to us. And he see how they are trying everything to pull Simon Epa down out of jealousy. The preaching, I want you people to listen. Pharaoh must teach anyone a lesson of the mightiness and miracle and immensity of God. Success begets envy. Jealousy. Pull him down. PhD. PhD. Reputation destroyers. You hear that? Backbiting. Reputation destroyers. Like you go today. All you hear is Simon Epa, criminal, Simon Epa, this. And when they call to people to convince people to start fighting Simon Epa, they will be telling them all manner of stories. Now, if you ask them, what did Simon Epa do that is wrong? Ah, you don't know. Simon Epa is fighting against Biafra. Simon Epa is destroying Biafra. Simon Epa, tell one thing Simon Epa have done. They have never told anybody. But every day, Chiki Dozieha, Tina Samoshi, the Mohammed Abbas in Kuwait, they are calling people, calling everybody 
and complaining about Simon Eko. Every day they are calling people. Every day with their DSS, their Nigeria government, they are calling people every day. <laughs> PhD, <laughs> pull him down. Obasanjo, listen. Reputation destroyers. I want you on back, Naja. You want to buy the new one? In all things, be above board. 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 Your hand must be pure. Your hand must be pure. Your hand must be pure. Did you hear that? Your hand must be pure. The criminals that we have expelled, are their hand pure? Are the hand of the criminals pure? Now, this is the hand of the criminals. Listen. The allegations of IPOB and all of that, but IPOB has come out and emphatically said it. And I believe them that they are no longer part of this criminal gang, uh, as it were. And they are now working with us um, and will probably see their own um, actions in the next few days. And the people are waiting to see what they can or cannot do. Um, to join us, and we called on them and did their offer inauguration. Um, that if you are not part of this talk of IPOB and all of that, but IPOB has come out and emphatically stated, and I believe them that they are no longer part of this criminal gang, uh, as it were, and they are now working with us. Um, and we'll probably see their own um, actions in the next few days at the people where. And they are now working with us um, and will probably see their own um, actions in the next few days at the square. And they are now working with us um, and will probably see their own um, actions in the next few days that the people are waiting to see what they can or cannot do. Uh, do you hear that? And they are now working with us um, and will probably see their own on um, actions in the next few days that the people are waiting to see what they can or cannot do uh, uh, as it were. And they are now working with us um, and will probably see their own um, actions in the next few days that the people are waiting to see what they can or cannot do uh, 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 as it were. And they are now working with us um, and will probably see their own um, actions in the next few days that the people are waiting to see what they can or cannot do um, to join us and we called on them and did their offer in operation. Um, that if you are not part of this, talk. did you hear that? Your hand must be pure. 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 Are you able to? Your life as well. You must be completely be above all. So what the bad belly people will 
listening to that and that is the problem <laughs> so Abbasanja has preached and uh, Biafra is coming and Nigeria will end in 2023 I'm gonna stop here tomorrow we continue with the reason why election will not hold we'll continue to bring to you the analysis objective analysis why election can never hold a Biafra land come next year so don't miss tomorrow as we are going to analyze different videos, including the video of registered foreigners in Biafra land. Foreigners were registered in Biafra land, and uh, they have registered, some of them have even 46,000 uh, people registered in Imo State. You go face, trans picture, and female gender. If you go also to Amoma Primary School, Pulling in zero one, you see a name like Grifty Eden, a man with a female picture. If you go to Pulling in zero one, M Omoma, you see a name like Hans Bira, a woman's picture and a male gender. So we are going to bring this analysis to you tomorrow, and then of course tomorrow also. <laughs> you know, I just want people to understand that is why the preaching of that woman, oh, listening to the preaching of that woman, connected with our tomorrow's exposition as well, you are going to see the reason why you must rise up so we don't validate evil Nigeria again, never. And then mm -hmm. tomorrow we are going to also, uh, you know, do some touch on this particular man you see here, this man you see here. Most of petroleum went down from $28 to $37. That the cost of petroleum product went down from $28 to $38. We do not know that Nigeria, when something is going up, it means going down. When something is going down, it means going up. Look at your president. Your president is saying that petroleum price went down from $28 to $38. I do not know what kind of thing is that? Listen to him again. Being unfortunate, the cost of petroleum went down from $28 to $37. Went down from $28 to $37. The petroleum went down from $28 to $37. Went down from $28 to $37. Went down from $28 to $37. Of petroleum went down from $28 to $37. Petroleum went down from $28 to $37. Went down from $28 to $37. But look at the problem in the Northeast. Except with anybody from Bono or Adama, how many local governments were in the hands of the government? They were in the hands of so called Boko Haram. Bloody fraud, how many local women were in the hands of the government? In the hands of local Boko Haram. How many local women were in the hands of the government? In the hands of so-called Boko Haram. Did you hear that? In the hand of so-called Boko Haram. So the man did not take Boko Haram as terrorist. He said, in the hand of the so-called Boko Haram. Did you hear that? I didn't say it too. He said, how many local government was in the hand of the so-called Boko Haram? Which means he don't believe that Boko Haram are terrorists. Listen to him again. I didn't say it. Listen. When the local government were in the hand of the government then, 
you are in the hands of so called Boko Haram, you are in the hands of Commandant. You are in the hands of so called Boko Haram. You are in the hands of so called Boko Haram. In the hands of so called Boko Haram. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta address this issue tomorrow, okay? <laughs> so don't miss it. In the hand of the so called Boko Haram. And the price is going down from $28 to $37. <laughs> the, the worst part is that Iraq will not share this news. They are now going to address uh, Simon Ekpa, how Simon Ekpa exposed the Nzama security outfit. Remember the name. The name is called Nzama security outfit, sponsored by Soludo and um, um and the hope is for them so tell them in nzama security outfit to make sure that they are collecting heavy money maka hagi if you are attack esn you are gone so make sure they collect this but they go from soludo so do they will go mohammed abbas na kuwait and a chike does he have is but plus the ego you will have so they have money now, you know. <laughs> they have very big money. <laughs> collect it, but do not cross Biafra. You are going to go down. God bless you. God bless Biafra. May God bless Mazinam Dikano. May God bless Easter Security Network. May God bless Sunday Igbo Home. May God bless Omada. May God bless our, our media team. May God bless all of you that are very fighting. You know, with us for this Biafra to come. May God bless nations that we have spoken to. May God bless all of them and, uh, you know, prepare their mind uh, to what is to come. May God bless all of you. And may God bless me. May God bless me because I have never been asking God to bless me. <laughs> so, you know, may God bless me. It's not a bad thing. Now. Uh, may God bless me more, you know. Thank you all. I and may God bless everyone watching me. All the viewers and all that. Make sure you click the like button and share the video, and then also subscribe so that you are going to be getting, uh, you know, a lot whenever we come online. So see you tomorrow. Onabago for one night. Good night.